Hello there, my name is Anna Lundberg. I'm the founder of One Step Outside, author of Leaving the Corporate 9 to 5 and host of the Reimagining Success podcast. And believe it or not, we're actually halfway through this year, halfway through 2020. And a lot has happened, let's face it, perhaps for you personally, professionally, certainly globally, a lot has been happening in the last few weeks and months. And I think now is a great time to check in with ourselves, see how we're feeling, see how we're doing on the goals that we hopefully set ourselves at the beginning of the year, and then regroup, refocus our efforts for the second half of the year. So what I'd love for you to do is first of all, check in with yourself and think, okay, how am I feeling about the year so far? I know lots of people have been saying, oh, 2020 is a write-off, it's horrendous, it's awful, forget about it, control all, delete. Maybe that's how you feel and that's okay. It's okay to be frustrated, disappointed, and maybe you've had to let go of some of your goals, all of your specific professional business goals to focus on homeschooling or just taking care of your health and your loved ones, whatever that might be. And so it's important to recognize that frustration, understand that there have been challenges and accept that as well. Understand that that is just unfortunately it is what it is, as they say, um, and there's not so much we can really do. Of course, there are certain things that we can control and that's what we want to always focus on. Um, but recognising that, you know what, unfortunately this year there have been quite a few things outside of our control and that has inevitably affected what we've been working on. So how do you feel, first of all? Then looking back at the goals you set yourself, do they still apply? So perhaps actually the reason why you haven't achieved them is because you decided that isn't a priority. Perhaps intentionally, perhaps it just happened organically, but maybe your priorities have shifted and what you decided in January was a big focus for the year isn't actually as important as you thought. In that case, again, don't worry. There's no need to be frustrated that you haven't achieved this goal because you've actually intentionally decided to not pursue that. But have you achieved some goals? Have you not achieved some goals? And what are the reasons for that? Is it because the goal was wrong? It wasn't meaningful to you? Is it because you didn't do the work so you knew that that was your goal but actually haven't taken action as you had hoped? Or have you taken action and for whatever reason, maybe you were focusing on the wrong things and you haven't seen the results that you wanted. So understanding, have you achieved it first of all, but secondly, why or why not? And then finally, and obviously this is a very brief foray into the world of reviewing your results so far and looking ahead to the second half of the year. But as we do look ahead, which goals do you want to keep? Which goals do you want to add? And what's ambitious and inspiring and fulfilling and yet not too stressful for you. I'm not saying now we need to force 12 months worth of work into six months. However, what you don't want to do is feel like this complete year has been an utter and entire write-off. We don't want to get to December and think, ugh, let this year be over, or maybe that's inevitable, but we certainly don't want to feel like we've wasted the entire year. So is there one little goal or one big goal that you can set yourself for the remaining part of the year? We have six months still, it's not over yet. We have many opportunities still to achieve one or all of our goals if we want to. So up to you what's reasonable, what's realistic, what feels right for you, but I would really encourage you to think now, okay, what can I keep? What do I want to start doing? What do I want to stop doing? What do I want to continue doing? And how am I going to focus now for the second half of the year? So I'd love to hear how you get on with that. Of course, as ever, there's a full episode of on the podcast over on Reimagining Success with Anna Lundberg. You can find that on your favourite podcast app and that's coming out on Thursday. As ever as well, if you have any questions, if you'd like to work with me perhaps on reviewing your goals and setting um, some more professional business career goals for the remaining six months and helping you to plan how you're actually going to implement those, then of course do send me a message and we can get on the phone and work out how we can help you with that. Thanks so much for listening and happy second half of 2020. Bye for now.